You're joking, right? He was obviously a witch hunter, and a particularly revolting one at that. This one's been after me for years. So boring. Raven is his name. <gasps> That's so Raven. Forget him. Why are you here? I want my swamps back. Go away. Shambara started walking away back towards her house. Come back here. We need to speak with you. She didn't stop or even slow, so Lauren was forced to run after her and talk while walking. Please, I would like you to fight in my army. Nah. Lauren gritted her teeth, unsure how to deal with such a response. People rarely refused her much. We saved your life. Excuse me? You saved my what? The world is at war and we need you to fight. Why do I care? It will be awfully crowded in the swamp once the demons take over the world. I bet they make really loud honking noises all night long. You think you have me figured out, do you? Don't forget your precious empire and elves would burn me at the stake just as soon as any witch hunter. You cast magic commonly associated with demons. It would be difficult to convince the empire you are not evil, yes. But she is not evil. She helped me find my mother. No, they're right. I'm evil. It does not matter what you are. You will be dead if you do, you will be dead if you do not fight. Fight with us and we will protect you. Shambara sighed and crossed her arms. You guys are as annoying as that hunter. And you can bet we'll come back often to remind you. She groaned and threw her hands up. Because they're playing my song and the butterflies fly away. If I had to choose between being hogtied by that filthy lout or snagged to death by you guys, I'll just have to choose the lesser evil. Wow, we're like a big band of misfits, aren't we? Good. Under one condition. Okay, what is it? You have to get rid of Raven for me. He knows where my home is, and no witch hunters get to know that and just walk away. You know, like you completely let him do? We would be able to do that, mistress. Yes, we agree. Yippee. You've acquired Chambara's personal quest. Stop Raven. Defeat the witch hunter Raven in, Loth in Lothark to convince Chambara to join. Chambara begrudgingly joined the group as they left the swamps. Lauren promised that she would be protected from anyone who sought to hurt her, even allies. Her magic would prove too useful and her knowledge too vital. And the best way to fight an enemy is to know all about them. Lothark, huh? All right. Well, she's not in our group yet, so we're going to have to go to Lothark. And we have a random battle. Let's see if we can make quick work out of this. Um, yeah, get rid of these scouts. It's morphin' time! Alright. Bonk. Alright. Open the floodgates. Open the fire gates. I love this. Yeah, we're gonna have to swap places, buddy. The Claw! Here, take that. He's not dead yet? Sheesh. Finish him off. There we are. Take out that last one. Yeah, you guys are done. You guys are so done. Did we just fight a battle? I didn't notice. In Lothark, they did not have to look far for their witch hunter. Numerous people were able to point the party in the direction of Raven's whereabouts. He was currently staying at the local inn and tavern. He's a popular fellow, Shambara snorted. If he is in the ta he is in the test tavern, we should strike him down. Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 
No killing in the tavern. Whatever, have it your way, so long as he eventually dies. Killing isn't the only way to solve your problems. That rat isn't going to leave me alone as long as his heart beats. Maybe we can talk him out of hunting you altogether. That's impossible. But if we could? We're wasting time. Look, I'll transform to something small so that I can follow you. But once we're in there, I can't help you. So don't screw this up. Shambara instantly reduced in size and transformed into a black cat. Aw, she's so cute now. Draco bent down to pet the cat, but it hissed at him. Yikes. Still moody, though. Leave her alone and let's go. I think I hear him already. Lauren led the group into the tavern next to them. The cat weaved in between their legs, hopped up on a table, and inconspicuously started licking its fur. Bingo. Saren pointed across the room to boisterous man, to boisterous man, to a boisterous man, dressed in the same peculiar clothes that they found in the swamp. Hey, what do I do to get to get to do to get some service in this rotten place? He slammed his tankard on the table with a loud thud. The barmaid scurried over to get it, but when she returned to refill it, Raven smacked her on her rear. She squealed and tossed his drink back at him. He shot up. Watch it. He shook his hat before placing it on his head. Bla blasted wench, almost ruined my hat. Ooh, good to know. One of his weaknesses is his hat. Lauren's hands tightened on her swords, but Saren hoped that she wouldn't, track, wouldn't attack. Not in here. No one can take a compliment these. No one can take a compliment these days. Think fast. He flipped a golden coin at the insulted barmaid. It bounced off of her and to the floor. Yeah, that's. Ugh, I cannot stand when people are like that. Raven headed for the door, causing the party members to suddenly act like patrons and hide their faces. The witch hunter thankfully passed them without noticing. Come on, we have to follow him. They followed Raven in secret as they traveled to the city. He threw lazy greetings at people as he passed and tipped his hat to especially beautiful women. So far, they were successfully undetected, which is ridiculously weird, considering they're like a party of what, almost ten by now? He then left the city entirely and walked into the nearby woods, piquing their interest. Perhaps he had a campsite he was returning to. After quietly sneaking behind him far into the, er to the er area, he stopped and adjusted his hat. All right, now that we're out of the city, it's about time you explain to me why you're tailing me. Ah, he knew. Saren sucked in a breath, so he knew all along it was being followed. Lauren stepped out of hiding first and confronted him. Raven casually turned around, looking slightly amused. We are here to stop your hunt on the witch, Shambara. Oh yeah? What's in it for you? She's here right now? What is she this time? A crow? Enough chatter. Lauren took out her swords, but Saren thrushed forwards. We won't kill you if you promise to give up witch hunting. That's adorable. No sir, no way, I'm not that much of a pushover. Saren sighed, still fixed on finding a peaceful solution, even though his patience was already thin. There had to be a way to reason with him. Okay, tough guy. Why does someone like you even need to witch to hunt witches? Because they're evil. It's the same reason you hunt down demons without a second thought. Bad things deserve to be punished. It's a decent thing to do. I mean, he's got us there. Saren didn't believe him. Raven thought himself above decency back in the tavern, so there had to be another reason. That's true. Fame. Fortune. Blood. Fame? You're only hunting for glory. Maybe you didn't get enough attention as a child, but you absolutely need to be the center of attention. Everyone in town knew, knew you, and that's the way you like it. Am I right? Well, well. Looks like we got a storyteller on the hands. You don't know anything about who I am, so why even try? We know enough. We watched you at the tavern. You were very rude. You must not have been looking at me since then. Do you bother women often, Raven? What in the inferno are you talking about? Boy, you better check yourself. There had to be more to it. Bad relationship. Selfishness. Mother issues? Selfishness, bad relationships, mother issues. I don't know if he has mother issues. Bad relationships? Did a woman jilt you in the past? A lover betray you with another? Or maybe you never had a woman ever truly love you at all? Raven's eyes widened as he frowned. Why are you asking all of these blasted questions? You think I'm just going to give up my career because you asked me? Shambara's not evil. 
Shambar is needed. You deserve better. Forget hunting. Why have your life revolve around murder and death? You could do so much more with your life. Murder and death? That sounds like an all right time. Boys? Heavily armed men stepped out from behind the trees with crooked grins on their faces. Oh. Now, now his true colors are revealed. It's gonna be a pity killing such fine looking people, but well, that's just how the story goes. First you, then the shapeshifter. All in today's work. Lauren gladly rushed into battle. I tried. I tried to do this peacefully, but no. I'm wondering if you choose the correct correct answers. I'm wondering if you can avoid this entirely. But I'm fine with fighting him. Um, let's do... Let's put Ray in here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lightning reflexes. Come on, those lightning reflexes need to kick in. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness! Really? Wow, really? Okay, but Palomesho, you're gonna have to open up a can. Because these guys are... They just killed... They just killed a Palomesho, just like that. I've been giving him, like, my best armor, too. I'm gonna have to increase Palomesho's, like, armor rating. Come on, Souser. Bring him back. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. Strike through three. Oh. Ow. Ooh. These guys are really powerful. Good gosh. Apollo Mesho, we need you to clean these guys up. Pick him off. Fatality. Uh. Saren's gonna have to heal this. I'm gonna have to heal. Souser, come on. There we are. Devour. Souser's tanking like a boss. Oof, not for long. Yeah, Palomesho. Palomesho is really cleaning up. Increase your lightning reflexes. Oh my goodness. Ooh, they're just picking us off. Bring back a parliament. Bring back Souser, because he can he's been tanking really well. Devour that one. Oh, come on. Heal a whole row. Oh, regenerate, regenerate. That's fine. I can do. Re I can deal with regeneration. Stun. Good. That was near Resurrect her. Ooh. Come on, Souser. Get your lightning reflexes up again. Palamesho, give us regen in a straight line. Oof. 
just die already. These battles are getting so much more, so much more tougher. Okay, upsy daisy. He keeps defending. It's so annoying when they're like taking all the hits. This guy's got so much high defense, it's ridiculous. Lightning reflexes. Um, stun? No, I gotta regenerate these guys. We need to get more hit points back up. Good lord. Ooh, I don't have enough. I can heal myself. I'm just gonna defend for right now. Palomesho. Um. Can I stun? Still, Lord. <sighs> He's almost down. So close. So close to death. Here. Bring him back. Nice. Finally. <sighs> these, is get these battles are getting more challenging. So you can keep up next time. Ooh. Leather Bracers, Raven's Bandana, and Apathist. Oh, blast it. Raven clutched his chest and he fell to the ground. His hat rolled off of him and his body stalled. Stilled. Quest completed. Stop, Raven. We could have probably done it peacefully, but this is fine, too. Ray of Sunshine. Headshot hits single target for 30% and has 50% chance of causing confused condition for 7 turns. Um... Bleeding Strike, Deadly Strike, Headshot is good because I like the Confusion status, so, Headshot 3, um, that's fine. His defense needs to go way up. Yeah, his defense and strength needs to go up. Um, and Souser. Wowzer, Souser. Um. Dragon Kick. I'm okay with him increasing his strength up more. His defense is ridiculous, so hit points is probably important for Souser. Okay. He's been dealt with. Now tell Chum a cat hissed next to Lauren. When she looked down, the cat transformed to Chumbara. Finally, that could not have taken any longer. You're telling me, sister. I'm sorry, but I thought we could talk him out of it. Ah, uh -huh. good going. Chumbara's eyes had shifted from being hostile to invasive as they roamed Saren's body. He shifted uncomfortably. We've kept our deal. You'll fight alongside us now, correct? She crossed her arms and sighed. Only for a little while. The swamp will devour my home if I'm not back soon. After Foss is defeated, you may do as you wish. You've gained a new party member, Chambara, Mage Necromancer. 
Interesting. Necromancers are not necessarily evil, but if they follow the cult of the dead, but they follow, even if they follow the cult of the dead, they are good all around magic users, knowing spells from all five of the magic circles. All of their spells are deadly and affect several targets at once, making them very powerful offensive magic users. Heat Blood 1. Hits a row full of enemies with fire damage for 150% threat of caster's base attack, 50% chance of casting burning condition for three turns. Swamp. Hits a full row of enemies with water damage. For 150% of the caster's base attack, 50% chance of causing frozen condition for three turns. Frozen from swamp water? Suffocate. Hits a full row of enemies with air damage. For 150% of, of the caster's base attack, 50% chance of causing weakness condition for three turns. Air damage by the lack of air, which is interesting. Death Trap. Hits full enemies with earth damage. For 150% of caster's base attack, chance of causing shattered condition for three turns. Soul Rot. Hits full row of enemies with dark damage. For 150% of caster's base attack, 15% chance of causing poison condition for three turns. I don't have anyone at the moment casting dark magic, so she's going to be going up the dark magic tree. And yeah. Sweet. So we've got soul. We've got soul. Um, do I want to give her more of these things? Concentration, maximum spell points, clarity, increases character spell, skill points, regeneration at percent. Um, cure. Cures one ailment. Tranquilize. Or haste. Haste is a really awesome ability. Um... Like, I don't have any other mages, like, really going towards these other schools of magic. But her magic spells are really cool. That's the only thing. Like, heat blood, swamp, suffocate, death trap. Heat blood is kind of amazing. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna keep her an offense. She seems like more of an offensive character. I don't see her as much like eating the characters as much. Like it's not in character for her to do that. Um, although these passive concentrations would be useful too. Death trap, suffocate, all in a row. These are all row, row spells, which is kind of awesome. Heating blood is kind of neat. I'll do suffocate for right now since nobody nobody has air magic and heating blood. That way she has a good amount of variety in her abilities. Oh my goodness, look at that. We have to give you some hit points there, sister. Um and some defense. Let's give you some defense. All right. Recruit Souser, Mesfit, and Chambara. Achievement unlocked. Let's party. Shambara stepped into the ranks of Lauren's army, now full, a full member of the party. She would always remind them of her desire to be back home, but she never failed to do her part. As she spent more time with the group, her realization of the situation grew, and so did her willingness to help, even if she had to mask it. Well, that's kind of awesome. The Dark Witch was standing alone by the campfire. Saren looked around, unsure if he should go to speak with her. Shambara didn't seem like the most friendly of companions, and simply speaking with her seemed to irritate her, but if she became friends with someone, perhaps that would change. Shambara looked over her shoulder at him, sending cold chills through Saren, but she said nothing and turned back to the fire. After a few moments, Saren shook off his anxiety, cleared his throat, and walked up to her. Shamba, get a good look. Uh, sorry, honey, but you're not my type. Huh? 
don't be coy. I'm aware I'm in have I have a tra an attractive rear end. I'm sure it's lovely, but uh, get over yourself, honey. Not every man is going to fall for you. So yeah, get over yourself. Saren gagged. I mean, I'm happy that you've got you know high self esteem and all, but um, this is almost kind of kind of sort of like reverse sexual harassment here if you like presume presume that somebody's checking you out and thinks you're all that in a bag of chips not always going to work saren gagged realizing she thought he was ogling her from behind true that may be but no 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 really what a shame you missed your chance and i doubt you'll have another one. Oh darn now tell me why you're really here then i wanted to get to know more about you Shambara stared at him blankly. Saren cleared his throat, cleared his throat again. <clears throat> For instance, I wanted to know more about death magic. Like, Shambara suddenly yawned. That topic is boring. You certainly are a disappointing one, aren't you? Boring? Yes, it's such a mundane business. Bones, blood, and sacrifices, standard affair. Sacrifices? Oh, don't get your underling in a knot. It's, it's mostly just small animals. Shambara's eyes flicked across Saren's body. Mostly. Was she thinking about sacrificing him? Um, yeah. That's a funny joke, Chammy. Ha ha. Yes, joke. Ha. Chammy? Call me that again. You'll see how much of a joke it was. Duly noted. Good thing Lauren didn't hear you with her no sense of humor. She likes to decapitate things. I know. That is precisely why I like her. Yes. Mesfit looked away. I don't think there's new stuff for any of these people, so... And Souser. Souser's got nothing left to say. I have a small question for you. This I've got to hear. Why are you still here? I'm sorry. Why haven't you run away yet? Nothing is keeping you here. You could roll off right now. Why would I do that? Because you're a slave? It's been so long since he considered himself a servant to Lauren. She treated him more kindly than any other Amazon and gave him extensive freedom and trust. I'm loyal to my princess and she needs me by her side. What do you think will happen when she doesn't need you anymore? When this war is over and you both go traipsing back to your castle, who's going back to the cleaning, cleaning the chamber pots? You. Or worse, she'll forget your corpse among the kills and only sometimes will stop briefly and wonder if someone is missing. That's all you really mean to her. You are and always will be a slave. She's a pretty presumptuous woman, isn't she? How cute. Saren's death's teeth were clenched shut for the, from the horrible tale that she wove. Hey, I'd rather be an alive slave than a dead free man. How would you instantly die? Oh, Lauren will definitely find me and kill me. There's no doubts about that. Uh-huh. I would have been out of fear in a heartbeat. Never mind what you think. How about the focus on the task at hand? Shambara sighed. It's a fair question, though. I'm not in the mood. That's fine. Um. Ooh. General Samael? Is there anything nifty in the shops? What can I equip you with there, darling? Oh, well, she doesn't have much. I could give her Raven's bandana, which is kind of fitting. It gives her plus two attack, plus two magic, plus five damage, plus six defense, and plus one speed. I mean, I think it's fitting for her to take that as a prize. Bracers of Wilderness. Um, but I feel like... I feel like he needs it more. He's like, his defense is... He needs some serious defense. So we'll give him that. No, I'll, I'll, I'll let her keep the, the, band, the bandana because it's just, it's just fitting. This gives him more defense, though. I'm gonna let him keep the leather racers. This doesn't give him as much defense. 